Hello again, everybody. It's the Reverend Jay Goldstein, and welcome to another episode of Doodling with Reverend Jay. In today's episode, we're going to be drawing an apple, which is why I have two markers here today, a red marker and a green marker. We're going to be drawing a red apple with a green leaf. Had I chosen to draw a green apple, I guess I would have only needed one pen. But we stick with the choices we make, don't we? Regardless of how complicated it makes life. So let's make an apple. Now apples are fairly round, but they have a flattened spot on top, and they have kind of a flattened spot on the bottom. So, to make our apple shape, we'll start at the top, and as we make the first curve, we'll go up a little first. And as we go around, we'll make sure that we end it with a fairly flat line, with a fairly uh, horizontal line, and then do the same on the other side. As I'm drawing right-handed, I probably should have drawn the left part first, so I can look at it the same time that I'm drawing, so I could copy it better. But I'm going to stick with this. It looks fine. There are many uneven apples out in nature, and this will simply represent one of them. Next, we're going to put a little stem on the top of the apple. Just make it get skinny and get a little fat at the end like that. You can even put a little circle on top for dimension. Next, we'll put down our red pen and get ready to draw a leaf. Now we drew these uh, in our last project when we were drawing the flower. And we're going to draw these the same way, or this one the same way. We're going to find a part for it to start. Right there seems pretty good. Make a long flattened out S and then a curved line which meets it at the end. Now we'll simply place a line along the middle indicating the vein of the leaf and we've drawn a leaf on our apple. Now, since I've been a kid since I've drawn as a kid, I always like putting a little friend in an apple that I've drawn. Drawing a little worm. And the way to do that is to start with your red pen. Oops, almost got away from me, green pen. Really wants to roll. Taking your red pen and making a little C, like that. Next, we're going to pick up the green pen again, and we're going to make the outline of a worm. Give him a big head, and keep his body about the same width of that C. To give him a little smile, a little C right here again, a little curve, and then attach that with another curve line like that. A little curve line that way, then a little curve line that way that meets the outline of the worm, and you have a little mouth. If you want to get fancy, why not give him a little red eye, since we have both colors to play with. A little circle and a little dot inside the circle. Now we can add some texture to this picture, of course. And we want to try to remember the roundness of the apple, what it is we're trying to portray. And remember that when we make these hash marks to indicate shadow, that the ends of them imply the shape of the apple. 
And this allows us to make things just a little bit more detailed. You're probably doing a much better job at this than I am. And what I did right here is I made a shadow without making an outline. And you can do that too. Next we'll add a little bit of detailing to the leaf and the worm. A little bit of shadowing. And maybe some veins coming out of the leaf, like that. Just little lines that branch off from the center, going away from the stem. And some rings on our friend the worm. And they don't have to go all the way up to his head. They could just look like a little sweater for him. Because maybe it's cold in the apple. Well, that's it. We've drawn an apple, and there it is. I hope you enjoyed yourself. If you did, hit the like button, share this video with somebody, subscribe to this channel. We'll be drawing a lot more in the future. Thank you, everybody. It's the Reverend Jay Goldstein. Ta-da!